All right, let's keep on going on our rational, irrational journey here. Now, one of the things, if you're having problems figuring out, is it a rational or irrational? Best thing to do, convert it to a value. What do I mean? Change it into a decimal. If you think about it, if it's a repeating or terminating decimal, it's rational. What do I mean by repeating? 0.3333333, that's repeating. Or terminating, 0.15. That's it. 0.15, it's terminating. Guess what? It's considered to be rational. Now, think about what irrational means. Well, irrational means just the opposite of that. It doesn't repeat. There's no pattern to it, okay? And it doesn't end. It keeps on going and going and going. Now, what's the key to this is the key to this is it can't be made into a fraction. Well, I know what you're saying. Well, how do I know that? Real simple. On your calculator, I want to show you some calculator tricks. You can actually put a fraction on your calculator. Now, I know you're saying, but, but how? The cool thing is, is if you got that up-to-date calculator, that real pretty, uh, pretty one, that real thin one, okay, the newer one with a color display on it, it's so pretty. Now, watch, watch this. If you look at the alpha button, which is right here, okay, right on that alpha button allows you to access this guy right there. And guess what? There's your fraction button. Don't believe me? Ha <laughs> ha, let me show you. It's really, really cool. Here we go, watch this. Hit alpha and hit the fraction button. Boom, there's your fraction. What do you mean? Well, watch, I could put eight over five. There's my fraction. Now, even if I hit enter, it stays a fraction. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, wait a second, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I, I don't necessarily want it in fractional form. I, I want to see it as a decimal. Well, cool thing here that you have is you have this thing called the math button right here. It allows you to do all kinds of really, really cool stuff. Watch this. Let me just erase this, get this out of our hair. Check this out. Hit math. Boom. Look what comes up. The first thing that comes up is this thing says convert to a fraction. That means you can take any decimal out there and convert it into a fraction. Ah, but there's a big if on this one. If it can be converted into a fraction, I'll show you what my what I mean a little later on. But look at number two. I'm just going to mouse down. That says take whatever is there as a fraction and convert it into a decimal. Watch what happens when I hit enter. Boom. It'll say take this answer of 8 over 5 and convert it into a decimal. Just hit enter again. Boom. 1.6. There you go. There's 8 over 5 is 1.6. But now you're probably saying, well, no, no, no. I want to convert it back into, into a fraction. Go to the math button. Don't freak out. Go to the math button. There's fraction. Check this out. Hit enter. It'll take that answer of 1.6 and convert it into a fraction. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? That's so awesome. Now, I know what you're saying, but sir, I don't have the new calculator. I have the older black and white one. That's no problem at all. If you have the older black and white one, it's a little bit harder to find, but I'm going to show you how to use it. Watch this. Hit the alpha button, which is right here again, but that accesses all of these function keys. And if you look at F1, that one's really, really cool because check this out. I'm going to just erase this. Let me get out of there. Okay, perfect, right? I'm going to hit alpha, F1. Look at that. All of that comes up, including this one right here, which converts it from a fraction to a decimal. Isn't that wild? You can even use, oh, the ones that have the numbers up front. See how it has the number up front, makes it into a fraction? Or my favorite is personally just this one. That's the one I use the most. So let me erase this before it goes crazy, okay? So you can actually access that button anytime you want. Even if you got the new color calculators, that alpha F1 helps you to access this. Watch this, boom, you get the same thing and you can put eight over five all over again Yahoo, and there it is. There's your fraction button. This button is going to be super, super important when we're looking at the stuff that we're going to do right away. Got it? Okay. Well, let's go back to our lesson here. But boom So first thing we should do is we should see what the value is and then ask yourself, is this an exact value or is it an approximate value? What do I mean by approximate? Approximate means that I'm going to be rounding. Aha, uh -huh. if I'm going to round this thing and if I have to round this thing, that tells you right away it's going to probably be irrational. L let's go through it. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, here we go. Let's start with four thirds. Okay, first things first, four thirds. Put it into your calculator. Boom, here we go. Clear all this stuff out of here. Alpha, frac, four, 
thirds. Boom. I'm going to hit it. Punch it. Look at that. It's already a fraction. You know and I know. Ratio means ratio means fraction. But if you don't believe me, go to your math. Go to number two here. Hit the decimal. Convert this into a decimal and look what you got. You got a repeater. 1.3333333. There's a repeating. And by definition, this value of 1.3 repeater means, guess what? This, this, four-thirds is actually exact. And by putting it down as a repeater, that's also considered to be exact, sort of. Okay? But by definition, that's irrational. Okay? Now, if you remember, rationals we call Qs. Right? Irrationals we call Q bars. Oh, so much information already on the first one. So look at the next one. Look at this. 0.34 repeater. 0.34343434. The value, of course, is 0 0.34 repeater then. Okay? Is this an exact or a, 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 an approximate? Well, since you got the repeater sign on this, this guy, I would say, is an exact for sure. And because it repeats, see, there's the repeating one. That's definitely going to be a Q. You betcha. Now, finally getting into something a little bit more interesting. Let's go to this guy right here. This guy is, oh, root 3. I don't know. I don't know what the value of root 3 is. So I'm going to bring up my calculator, clear all this stuff out of here. I'm going to go second square root. There's my square root button. There's 3. I'm going to punch it. Look at that number. Weird, right? 1.73205080808. Oh, looks like it's repeating maybe here. We're not sure, but that's the last guy. That's the last digit. This could have be rounded from something out here, which rounded it to eight. So it looks like, I don't know, 0808 might be repeater. We're not sure. So how do you figure this out? Real simple. See if the calculator can convert it into a fraction. Hit your math button. Go out here and say, okay, take that answer there and make it into a fraction. Let's see. Yoink, it doesn't. Guess what? Irrational. That simple. Oh my goodness. So this guy, what was that number again? 1.732. Oh boy. 1.732. So 1.732 and it goes on and on and on and on. Obviously, since I wrote it this way, I've skipped all of these digits out here. This, of course, is now an approximate. Oh, A-P-P-O-R-X-L. Oh, there we go. Me and my English. Okay, so if that's approximate and you can't convert it into a fraction, that's a Q bar. Let's see if we can do these a little quicker now, right? Now that we're quick and efficient, let's see what we can do. Let me move this down. Okay, here it is. Check this guy out. Minus 2.153. What well, stops? It's terminating. So it's minus 2.153. It terminates. It stops. So this is an exact. I don't even have to try to put this on the calculator. I know since it's exact, it's a Q. Wow. Now, look at this guy. Oh, what a monster. He's a monster. Check it out. Cube root of 8 over 27. Now, once you get into the next couple units here, and actually a little later into this unit, you're going to learn how to solve something like this and actually make it into an easier number. But for right now, this is where that fraction button is going to be super powerful. Okay, you ready? Let's go on our calculator. So 8 over 27, the cube root of 8 over 27. Where am I going to find cube root? Well, math it again. Right here. Look, there's the cube root right there. Cube root of 8 over 27 as a fraction. Oh, guess what I'm going to use? I'll use the one if you've got the black and white calculator. Alpha, F1, put in the fraction. Oh my goodness, you're kidding. Nope, I'm not. Look at this. This looks identical to the question, doesn't it? Look, I'll flip back to the question. Q root of 8 over 27. It looks exactly like what's on the calculator. Punch it. Boom. Gives me two-thirds. Oh my goodness, two-thirds, that's by definition. That's a rational number. Oh, let's go back. Rational number, the actual value is two-thirds. This, of course, is exact, and that makes this rational. Oh, so easy. Let's look then at the square root of 64 over 5. Let's do that one. On we go. Back to this. I'm going to use a, a square root, so, of course, I'm going to go second square root of 64 over 5. So I know it's going to be a fraction. There's 64. There's 5. Okay? Exactly like what we had in the question. Punch it. Check it out. It's a really ugly number. 
Look at all those decimals. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can convert this into a fraction. Math, frac, boom. Now, doesn't convert, guess what? Automatically, this is 3.5777. Let's put that in. 3.577, 3.577, and it goes da 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 forever. Okay, this of course is approximate. Approximate, so that makes this a Q bar. Can't be converted into a fraction, no way. Look at this one 121 over 64. Let's raise this up a little bit. There we go. Square root of 121 over 64. Well, do you want me to give you a bit of a secret? I'll give you a secret. Take the square root of 121. Take the square root of 64. Break it down. Square root of 121, isn't that 11? Isn't the square root of 64, 8? That's 11 over 8. You don't believe me? Ho oh, ho, I'm so glad you asked me that. Square root of 121 over 64. Here we go. Okay, clear this guy. Second square root of alpha frac. 121 over 64. Check this out. Doesn't that look exactly like the question that we had? It is. Check it out. 11 over 8, just as predicted. Oh, I'm teaching you something new. Check it out. 11 over 8. So this, of course, is exact. And this guy would be a Q. Oh, how Q. <laughs> uh oh. Square root of square root of 16. Well, you know what? Work inside out. What's the square root of 16? Isn't that square root, isn't the square root of 16 4? Well, guess what? This is now 4. What's the square root of 4? That's 2. What is that? That's exact. And if it's exact, guess what? It's a Q. Cool. Last one. Oh my gotcha. Look at this. I threw everything at you in this one. It's a cube root. It's negative underneath that, that radical sign, and it's 0 0.64. Well, don't panic. you got a calculator. Let's figure it out. Okay, here we go. Cube root. Got to go to math. Go down to cube root. There it is. Zero. Oh, we got to put in a negative first. Oh, negative right here. Put the negative in first. 0 0.64. Let's see what that gives us. Hmm, interesting. Well, yeesh. That looks really, really ugly. Well, let's see if we can convert this into a fraction. Math, frac, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. So guess what? That is got to be a Q bar. So let, let's, let's just finish this off properly. Negative 0 0.86. Negative 0 0.86, dot, 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 dot. Because we put, it's dot, 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 we obviously had to round it. This is going to be an approx. Approximate. Okay. And this, of course, is going to be a Q bar. See how it works? Lots of fun. Most important thing is try using your calculator. That's really going to help you out on this.